Hey guys and thanks for joining me in this video. Today I'm going to show you the new Pat McGrath Mothership 6 eyeshadow palette and this is Midnight Sun. Now this is the very first time that I'm trying anything from Pat McGrath so this is going to be a first impression review. I'm going to show you swatches from all shades in natural daylight so that you can see how they look and also I'm going to quickly create a very natural very easy look just for a few minutes and actually this is the look that you're going to see it's very very simple it's nothing too special and I used only the safe shades in this eyeshadow palette now let's go ahead and let me show you the swatches first and then I'm going to give you my thoughts about this eyeshadow palette So these are the swatches of the first six shades and they are quite wearable, I would say. All the colors in this eyeshadow palette are extremely highly pigmented, so you have to barely touch the color with the brush. And these are the four extraordinary colors that are very, very sparkly. And this is natural light. I don't have my lights on so that you can really see how the colors look. And even though I don't have my lights on, you can see that the colors are really sparkly. Okay, so first of all, as I said in the beginning of this video, I I'm new to Pat McGrath makeup. I've never tried anything from Pat McGrath and this is the very first item that um, I got from her. And I have to say that I really like the packaging. It's quite luxurious. It's very heavy. This is definitely not something that you are going to get uh, and you're going to travel with this one. Those of you who already know me, you know that I'm a Chanel and Dior girl. I really love Chanel, Dior, a little bit of Guerlain, a little bit of YSL and Pretty much that's it. I'm not a person who likes very pigmented eyeshadows, but I have to say that these colors are, they are quite extraordinary in a good way. I really like them. Now, if I am absolutely honest, those of you who know me, you know that I, and I really like this little compact eyeshadow quads and quins that I can easily take in my handbag, I can easily travel with them. Now this eyeshadow palette, I will never take it when I travel and I would say that this eyeshadow palette is very suitable for those of you who are more creative and if you like playing with makeup, if you like creating different looks, I would say that definitely this is a very beautiful eyeshadow palette. It retails for 125 US dollars and as far as I know all mothership eyeshadow palettes retail for 125 US dollars which I think that it's a pretty fair price for what you get actually and you get a lot of product here. So I must say that I'm very pleasantly surprised by the quality of this eyeshadow palette. You have to barely touch the colors with your brush and you're getting plenty of color, like a lot of color. So you really, if you're not used to using this kind of eyeshadows, you definitely have to be light-handed. I can say that the colors are very interesting and there is something for everyone. These four shades are a little bit more extraordinary. I think they are going to be suitable for those of you who love playing with makeup, if you love creating different looks, if you like more extraordinary makeup, these four colors, you're going to love them. If you are someone like me who is really more into neutrals, into very, very natural looks, um, I'm not sure that you really need this eyeshadow palette because if I have to be honest, I see myself using only these three shades from this eyeshadow palette. And I think this eyeshadow palette is absolutely brilliant for someone who likes playing with makeup. It's just not exactly my type of eyeshadow palette. I'm not sure if I'm going to purchase again this type of eyeshadow palette just because I, I find it quite big, heavy, um, I can't take it with me, but I am absolutely impressed with the colors, with the performance of the eyeshadows, they are brilliant. All right guys, so let's go ahead and get started. I think that I'm not going to be using these four shades right here because they are a little bit out of my comfort zone. I think that I'm going to stick to the more neutral colors in this eyeshadow palette. I think this is a beautiful eyeshadow palette for someone who has more of an 
artistic nature but these four shades here they are very glittery and not exactly my type of shades so let's get started and let's see what happens so I would say that my favorite shades are definitely the brown color here, the champagne color here and the coppery shade right here. So I think that I'm going to stick to those because this is the first time that I'm using Pat McGrath and I've never used, I just don't have experience with Pat McGrath eyeshadows and that's why I want to take it slow. So I'm going to start with the brown shade here and these are very, very, ooh, these are extremely highly pigmented so I have to be very light-handed and I'm going to start placing this color in my crease so I'm just going to go back and forth and place the color in my crease I must say that these colors are actually so pigmented that you barely need to touch the colors with your brush they are very interesting I've never used such eyeshadows before. Definitely this is something that I've never used before. So let's see what happens. The next color that I want to use is the copper shade right here. So I'm going to place this color on my mobile eyelid. And this color is, I think, my favorite. It's a beautiful bronzy color. Let me do it with my fingertip because I really like to work with my fingertips. You know that I usually don't do very complicated makeup looks. I like to keep it very simple. So this is quite shimmery, even though, even though it's not one of these very, very extremely shimmery colors and very extraordinary colors, it's still very, very shimmery. I, I don't know if I would use this in the office. Probably not if you work in an office and uh, it, it all depends on you, but I am probably not going to use this color in the office. Let me zoom in so that you can see better what's happening on my eyes. It's a very, very beautiful color. However, really, I'm not going to use it every day. Now I'm going to take a small brush and I'm going to take this beautiful champagne color right here. And I think I'm going to use this in the inner corner of my eye just to add some highlight. And this is also a very, very beautiful shade. So the pigmentation of these colors is very intense. Definitely this is something very interesting for me because I haven't worked with such highly pigmented colors before. So it's interesting to try something new. I'm going to use the brown color once again in my crease just to intensify the look a little bit more and for blending purposes okay so now i'm going to be taking the brown color here and i'm going to place it on my lower lash line and this is going to be the outer part of my lower lash line and i'm using a little bit more from the brown color here just to tone down the copper shade because it's a little bit too shiny for my taste. And now I'm going to use a little bit of black eyeliner and I'm going to apply mascara and I'll be back. What I like here is that you have different textures and as I said, it's really great if you like playing with makeup. So if you like that kind of colors, what I like in this eyeshadow palette is that even if you're someone like me who likes only neutrals and who likes to play safe with makeup, you can use it. And at the same time, if you feel in the mood for something more interesting, for something more extravagant or for that kind of really shocking Instagram makeup look, you can also use this eyeshadow palette. So that's all for today's video guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to subscribe, like and leave me a comment and let me know in the comments below some of your favorite products from Pat McGrath and is there anything else that I should try. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!